Hey there, pre-med. In this video, we're gonna talk through the different options that you have for MCAT prep and which would be the best fit for you based on the type of student you are and your essential needs as you progress towards testing. Let's go ahead and get started. There are four major categories of prep that you can use for the MCAT or really any standardized tests. The first is self-study, where you gather resources on your own and build your own study schedule to work towards testing. The second is an on-demand or asynchronous course where you log in, you watch videos, you do assignments, but it's on your own time and it's outside of a classic classroom environment. We then have live online or in-person courses. These are more like our classic classrooms where you'll have a live instructor, you'll be in a classroom with peers, and you'll be able to do assignments in real time and answer questions in a classroom environment. Finally, we have one-on-one -on -one tutoring. This is where you work directly with an instructor, asking your questions and using them as your major resource as you work towards testing. So which of these four options is best for you? In order to figure that out, we first have to discover what type of student you are and what you need to be successful in your academic prep. None of these four options is better than the other. It's really about matching your needs and of course your limitations on things like finances and timeline to what you have available and the strengths of each of the different programs. So let's dive in and discover that for you. Let's identify what kind of MCAT student you are and how that lines up with our four prep options. Are you self-motivated? Is it easy for you to sit down and do that academic work and you feel confident in your study skills? You have solid study skills and you know how to approach academic prep for exams. Are you currently prioritizing affordability, right? Do you need to make sure that you're spending as little as possible on your MCAT prep? And do you work best by building your own unique plan and set of resources? So you don't like to kind of follow what's given to you. You have a tendency to go out and seek your own resources and create your own study plan. If any of these four bullets resonates with you, then full self-study might be the best option. This is where you can build your own study plan using a variety of resources out there, including many free resources. And as long as you're self-motivated and have good study skills, students are often very effective at the self-study plan. Or are you still self-motivated but need more of a flexible program and schedule? And are you comfortable advocating for yourself when you need support? So one of the benefits of an asynchronous or an on-demand course is often they do have the resources built in for you. So if you don't really love building your own set of resources in your own plan, you'd rather have that provided, but then need a flexible schedule to work through that plan, an async course or an on-demand course is great for that because you can often do them on your own schedule. However, even though there are often live components or options to go to office hours or post in a study forum, it really requires someone who is willing to get out there, put their questions out there and advocate for when they need support in order to get those needs met in an async course. So if you're comfortable doing that, if you are somebody who tends to go to office hours frequently in your classes, an async course may be best for you. It's also lower cost usually than our final two options. Now let's talk about option three. Do you find that you study best with a live instructor with opportunities to ask questions in real time? Do you enjoy following a clear plan and structure? So being told what to do with deadlines and assignments and having to move through that material with kind of an outside structure. And would you benefit from built-in accountability and a community of like-minded peers? If so, then you'll probably fit best into a live online or in-person course. These courses, the benefit of them really comes with that accountability, that feeling of I gotta show up to class, prepared to ask my questions. And because those classes happen at specific times, it does give that little bit of discipline that an on-demand course that's more flexible does not have. Finally, do you have specific challenges to address? Things like maybe English is your second language and you're working on reading comprehension, or you never took biochemistry and are self-studying for that subject area. Or maybe you really struggle with reading graphs and figures because you've never taken a stats or a research class. All of these things are very specific challenges that may or may not be addressed in the other three options. Also, do you learn best with individual undivided attention? Right? Do you really like having a one-on-one -on -one interaction where your instructor is focused on you and only you for that whole duration of time. And this is the most important for this category. Are you comfortable leading a relationship and asking questions to get the support you need? If so, tutoring 
is a great option for you. I have found that tutoring programs work best when the student comes with a very clear goal on working on specific challenge areas and they're able to drive the relationship by asking questions and preparing in advance for each session. So if that's something you're very comfortable with and you know you have very specific needs that are maybe outside the typical MCAT student, then tutoring may be the best option for you. It is important to note the live online slash in-person courses and tutoring programs do tend to be more expensive than both the self-study and on-demand options. Let's look at these options in a different way. These bubbles are all different elements of your MCAT prep, which may be more or less important to you. So go ahead, feel free to pause this video, take a moment and look at these different options and determine, okay, which ones are real priorities for me? And then we can tie those into the four options for prep. So our first option, flexible schedules and a pre-built set of resources an asynchronous course is gonna be best for that. If instead your priorities are to build your own plan and you're self-motivated and you're really looking for affordability and you already have those solid existing study skills and still want that flexible schedule, then self-study is your best option here. If the bubbles on the other side of the page matter more for you, things like live instructor, your ability to ask questions, having a clear plan, and having individualized goal setting and a community, if those things are really what's gonna make a difference in your prep and help you reach your MCAT goals, then a live online or in-person course is going to be the best fit for you. In these courses, you're really gonna have that sense of driving forward with a group of people and an expert instructor that's going to guide you along the way and hopefully keep track of your progress and make sure that you're seeing the improvements you need to be successful on your exam. And finally, if you really need that one-on-one -on -one support and attention and or have specific challenges to address but still want that individual goal setting and ability to ask questions, well, of course, tutoring then would be your best possible option. So I want you to take a moment and look at this graph. Notice that there's overlaps, right? There are some components that you can fulfill with both a self-study and an on-demand course or a live online course or tutoring. So it's really important for you as the student to identify which of these variables, which of these elements really matters for your prep, what's going to make a difference for you. And make sure to choose the option that definitely has that element in its prep style. I'll say this again, I've seen students be successful in all four options and with a variety of different test prep companies. So it's really less about which option is the best out there and it's more about which option fits your needs as a student and will help you get to your goals based on both your learning style and what you need in terms of support. I hope you now have a clear idea of the four prep options and which one you're leaning towards for your MCAT prep. Make sure to do your due diligence and look through the different options that are out there for each category and make sure that they're going to fill the elements you need. So for example, my live online course, we really prioritize individual accountability and attention, which is why we only take 25 students. We cover all the topics, but our real priority is making sure it feels individualized and students are getting personal goal support and getting their questions answered in a live online setting. Many live online courses are big, so they have 50 to 100 to multi hundreds of students, and you don't get as much in face time with the instructor. Again, if that's the style you like, you wanna to listen to a lot of other people's questions, that's great. But if you prefer a smaller class size, make sure to look out for that as you're reviewing the different options for your class prep. In an on-demand course, it's important to look at timeline. How long do you have access to the materials and how much support can you get in terms of office hours or a group forum, so that if you do run across questions, you know you can get them answered. In self-study, make sure that you're prioritizing using materials that'll help you learn. If you're not a book person, if you don't like to learn from textbooks, don't purchase a bunch of textbooks. Make sure that you use a resource and a modality that works for you, and of course, do lots and lots of practice questions. Finally, tutoring is the most personal, so make sure that you get a chance to meet your tutor and instructor, make sure that you guys jive, and that you set incredibly clear and actionable goals for what you personally as a student want to get out of the tutoring experience. Remember, you're the driver, this is your experience, and it's up to you to make sure that you've got all the pieces you need to be successful on testing. Preparing for the MCAT can be overwhelming, and I hope this video gave you some clarity on how to get started.
If you have any questions on anything we covered in this video, things like resources or what to choose based on your experience, go ahead and put it in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer for you. And if you are interested in the live online course option, I have courses running throughout the year. I take 25 students per cohort. If you'd like to join us in the next cohort, you can click the link in the caption below, which will take you to our available courses. Thanks so much. And as always, guys, happy studying.